Book of Heaven, Volume 6, Part 12 January 14, 1906 Jesus forms his image in the light that comes out of the soul. As I was in my usual state, blessed Jesus came for just a little and told me, My daughter, I am not content when only glimmers of light come out of the soul. I want that her thought be light. Light the word. Light the desire. Light the works. Light the steps. And that these lights, united together, form a sun so that in this sun my whole image may be formed. And this happens when she does everything, everything for me. Then does she become all light. And just as the one who wants to enter into the solar light finds no obstacle to entering it, so do I find no obstacle in this sun that the creature has made of her whole being. On the other hand, with one who is not all light, I find many hindrances to forming my image. January 16, 1906 No one can resist the truth. The one who lives in the sphere of the divine will resides in the abode of all riches. Continuing in my usual state, my blessed Jesus came for a little and told me, No one can resist the truth, nor can man say that it is not the truth. As evil and stupid as one might be, he cannot say that white is black, and that black is white, that light is darkness, and that darkness is light. Only the one who loves it, embraces it and puts it to work. While one who does not love it, remains perturbed and tormented. And he disappeared like a flash. A little later he came back and added, My daughter, the one who lives in the sphere of my will, resides in the abode of all riches, and one who lives outside of the sphere of my will, resides in the abode of all miseries. This is why it is said in the Gospel that the one who has shall be given, and one who has not shall be deprived of the little he has. In fact, since the one who lives in my will resides in the abode of all riches, it is no wonder that he shall continue to be enriched more and more with all goods, because he lives in me as though in his own house. And keeping him in me, would I perhaps be stingy? Would I not keep giving him day after day, now one favor, now another, never ceasing to give to him until I have shared all my goods with him? Yes, indeed. On the other hand, for one who lives in the abode of miseries, outside of my will, his own will is already in itself the greatest of miseries and the destroyer of every good. So if he has a little bit of good, not having contact with my will, and appearing as useless in that soul, what is the wonder if it is taken away from him? You have reached the end of the Book of Heaven, Volume 6. Fiat.